So, you want to start writing. Good choice, good choice. There's much to say about the workshop of Wordsworth, the discipline of Dante, the kingdom of Christie. Writing is an age-old art, one that has survived a millennia of advancement, one that in many ways helps us define ourselves. We often think of things as before or after the invention of writing. There seems to be an ethos to writing, to language, that has persisted since time immemorial, literally. But it remains a mystery, and sometimes a burden, to most everyone alive. Writing is important. But why the hell do you have to ask me? Let's start with this. Why am I qualified to speak to you about writing? I made it into my school's literary magazine. I'm interning for a sports journal this summer. I'm writing a novel. I'm not qualified, but this is the internet, so I can do whatever I want while facing little to no consequences. In the great year of our Lord 2021, the backbreaking, revolutionary scientists at Sapiens TV made a remarkable, unprecedented breakthrough in the process of literature, known today as the Eightfold Path patent pending, and it can be explained through its eight constituent Asians. The first Asian is causation. Why do you want to write? There's a variety of answers. Maybe you're young, younger than me even, and ambitious. You want to leave your mark on the world. Or maybe you're bored, bored with life. Can't stand everything being wake up, meal, car ride, work, meal, sleep, anymore. Hey, everyone gets a good idea or two on occasion. Never too late to start. Or maybe you're getting old. Mortality wanes closer and closer, and you're afraid you'll be forgotten. No work of genius to stamp you firmly among the stars. You'd need to write a memoir or something, or else all those wonderful years will be lost. Pity. All that should be permanent is fleeting, and all that should be fleeting is permanent as permanent can- I'm sorry, I'll stop quoting myself, but this is all to say, it's never too late and never too early to start writing. I fall into the first category. I'm sort of a young and don't know if you can tell, and when you're young, your dreams are wild, but dream big at any age helps you stay young, and regardless wherever you are in the world and life, I assure you there's a causation for writing. Next comes summation. Summarize what it is you want to write. I doubt Basquiat could paint a Da Vinci, I doubt Da Vinci could paint a Basquiat. Writing is the same. There's so many things you can do with words, all of them amazing. Perhaps you're so fired up with the state of things nowadays that you want to write a firecracker essay, a hot take on the world. Perhaps something so monumentally tragic has happened to you that may prompt you to write a heart-throbbing novel. Listen to me. Anything goes. If Jake Paul can get away with... this... I'm sure there will be someone who appreciates what you want to do. I'm something of a novelist myself. I don't know where it started. I have loved storytelling for as long as I remember, though. Something fascinating about it, transmitting information with your mouth, with your pen, with your computer. Something really fundamentally human about it. Really neat stuff. Here's what I'm working on now. 80-something pages, 50-something more of revisions. Going great, thanks for asking. One thing of note though, and this is something I've very painfully figured out, writing doesn't come easy, and when it does, you've made a mistake, start over. Then we have duration. When do you want to write? Whether it's once every week on a Saturday, or five hours a day every day, set a schedule. You don't even have to hold yourself to it. Setting it, knowing you've got to write at least a little every so often, that's good enough to start off. 
And let's get this straight, there's no need to set strict deadlines for yourself. Frankly, I find them overbearing and unfit for tasks such as writing. But there's absolutely a need for routine. Having a routine or a ritual before you write gets you in a flow state. Flow states are amazing because you're not worrying about anything except what's in front of you. That's when real emotion comes out to play, that's when the words come out more easily. For example, here's what I do. Get up, coffee, in your chair, music thunder, write your share. Every single time, get up, coffee, in your chair, music thunder, write your share. So, have a schedule, and have a routine, and eventually you'll find yourself writing for longer and longer durations. Next, we have, in many ways, the twin sibling of duration. I find it immensely useful to have a couple spots around the house to write from. I'm a big fan of dark rooms, but on occasion I do like some greenery, a good window or something. Some people like the library, some people like the coffee shop. Your location is part of your routine, and selecting a good one, one with limited distractions, one where you feel comfortable, can help you get into that essential flow state. Then there's education. Find ways to learn about both writing and literature, especially the basics. At the start of your education, as with everything else in life, you must work on your fundamentals, vocabulary, syntax, style, etc. These fundamentals can be daunting, but never fear, it's the 21st century. Need to expand your vocabulary? Use the thesaurus, there's no shame. Need to develop your style? A trick I learned from my English teacher is to literally copy down word for word chapters from your favorite books. You get to see the action unfold just as the author would have. It's sort of like emulating the moves of your favorite sports player. And just like a young aspiring driveway superstar, once you've got a serviceable jump shot and some handy dribble moves, you're ready to fly high. Starting with the fundamentals. That's education. Oh, and don't use Grammarly. Unless you really need to, in which case, be sure to tell it who's boss once in a while. Next up, a fickle one. Inspiration. The spark that starts your fire. The domino that starts your chain. Inspiration only comes naturally. You do not, cannot choose when it comes and goes. So, how do you maximize it? Well, in my mind, the only way to do so is to do at least something every single day. Sometimes there will be slow days, it's inevitable, but one thing I like to do is turn those slow days into revision days. Spend the day just fixing things up. No new material, no inspiration needed. Productive procrastination is one of my favorite pastimes. Then, the fire to inspiration spark. Imagination. Imagination can be seen as a skill rather than something innate. When you first start writing, it'll be uninspired, unimaginative stuff, it's almost certain. Everyone starts somewhere, and trust me, with enough time, with enough volume, occasionally, a great idea comes. And when that happens, all you need to do is make like Squidward, and FIRMLY GRASP IT! Don't be afraid of ideas, people have had some crazy ones throughout the years. I'm sure what you've got planned is nowhere near as bonkers as them. Unless you want it to be, I don't know. Don't be afraid of failure, either. I think Miss Frizzle said it best. Take chances! Just remember, they invented backspace for a reason. Overcome these apprehensions, and you'll unlock the skill of imagination. Let that fire burn high. Finally, there's motivation. Motivation, like inspiration, can seem out of your control. One thing I always find works, however, is just taking breaks. Remember what I said about when everything comes quick and easy? And this is something I've very painfully figured out. Writing doesn't come easy, and when it does, you've made a mistake. Start over. Yeah. If you write everything that comes to you for 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, you're bound to hit a brick wall sooner rather than later. You need a way to pace yourself. Try just not writing for a couple of days. Maybe try knitting. Maybe learn the secrets of the universe. Maybe try uploading a video for once, I don't know. Whatever gets your mind off writing. Just spend a day or two relaxing. Trust me, it'll do you good. So, let's go through those Asians one final time. Causation. Why you want to write. Summation. 
what you want to write, duration and location, when and where you want to write, education, learning the X's and O's, it's a process we're all going to need to get through, a process I still put myself through, inspiration, the spark that sets you off on your way, it's a slippery one so make sure you're ready whenever it crosses your path, imagination, no one wants to read something boring, put your heart into it, what's the worst that could happen, last but not least, motivation, once you've got that flame going, do everything you can to keep it going, even if that means taking a rain check once in a while. So there you have it. You've got my take on things. Now, all you can do is go out and try your darndest. Best of luck to you. Sapiens TV, thank you for watching.